What's going on everybody, this is me Alex, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Huawei Glory H868C from Straight Talk, Track Phone, or Net 10. So with, without any more further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. The Huawei Glory is a smartphone offered by Track Phone for use on their prepaid wireless network. It runs on Android's operating system 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich and delivers modern smartphone features at a budget-friendly no-contract price. The Huawei Glory is the last phone of four Android smartphones released by TrackPhone. The Glory is the last of the four that we reviewed here at HD Alex Films and you can read our reviews of the Samsung Galaxy Centura, ZTE Valet and the LG Optimus Dynamic to learn more about what each of these phones offers and which you might want to buy in case you're considering these types of phones. We hope to deliver a side-by-side -side comparison of all the four smartphones in the new near future to help you guide you to the best phone for your needs. The other smartphones from TrackPhone, the Huawei Glory, runs on Android's operating system and uses the CDMA towers with the specifications of a 1.1 GHz processor, 1 GB of powerful RAM, a 3.5 inch capacitive touchscreen, and a 3.7 volt battery which has about 14 days of standby and 5 hours attack time, and its weight of only 4.5 ounces, this phone is a very very easy and easy to use phone for your daily person. It's not too complicated like any other Samsung phones or any other professional Android phones. But just like the other smartphones from TrackPhone, the Huawei Glory runs on Android's operating system and uses the CDMI towers, meaning that it will run off the Verizon, Verizon 3G network. The Glory is a candy bar style touchscreen phone that many has many similarities in size and look to the other smartphones from TrackPhone. While the Huawei Glory is offered in several different cell phone service providers, only the phones marked as TrackPhone will work with the TrackPhone prepaid service. As far as we know, you cannot switch between different SIM cards. On the top of the phone, you'll find a power switch, a 3.5mm head jack, and a microphone for when you're recording video, neatly placed in a place where you will not cover it. On the left side of the phone, you are faced with a micro USB adapter to go ahead and plug your phone in to charge or to sync music on or off your device. On the back of the phone you get a simplistic and minimalistic design featuring a 3.2 megapixel camera with a video recorder. It does, this phone does feature Wi-Fi connectivity and does deliver some pretty nice pictures for its price of $99 on Amazon or anything else like that. This phone, however, is not the best, but on the bottom it does feature a, a bar speaker which does deliver great audio. However, it's not Beats audio, but it does give a nice sense of audio and detraction. The back cover, since it's a matte surface, it does deliver a pretty smears full surface and it is pretty tactile to your fingers, so it does give a nice matte sense and finish to your device to make it seem very, very grippy to your hands. However, this is not like the Samsung Galaxy S5 where it does not feature the, uh, the little dot thing. Uh, moving on to the back of the phone, we are greeted with a few different things such as uh, we do pull back the back cover just like any other Android phone. We have a large, quite large 3.7 volt battery which does uh, put about 8,000 milliamps on there and I really do like it. This does come or does this does not come with a micro SD card unlike the ZTA Valet or the Samsung Galaxy Centura. The SD card can be purchased at an optional value price. For this case, I got myself a 16 gigabyte card, Pixlr. I paid about 10 bucks for this at Best Buy, so I think it's a great buy. This does have 3G speeds and Wi-Fi connectivity as well as a Bluetooth connectivity, an MP3 player, GPS, gravity and tilt sensor meaning that it can go into landscape mode and since this is an Android operating system you do have access to 700,000 applications off the Google Play Store and this is hearing aid compatible as it does have an alarm clock, caller ID, call waiting, voicemail, text and picture messaging, FM radio and supports to up a 32 gigabyte micro SD cards as well as a hand free speaker. This is an amazing little phone. The battery can be purchased as an optional price for $29 if you want another one, but in my opinion, this phone has a pretty exceptional battery life, so I still have not had to purchase a second battery, just like I had to do with my S5 the other day because for some reason it just would not work right, so I had to get a different battery for it to work. All you do to put back the battery is line up the prongs and then just snap on the back cover with a simple ease or press of a 
push or whatever you want to call it and then power on your phone because you do get magnificent quality that you would normally not get in a different price i definitely recommend this phone to those small budgeters who want a simple to use track phone phone if you guys enjoyed my track phone review of the Huawei Glory H868C, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the meantime, this has been Alex with HD Alex Films signing out. Bye guys, until next time. Peace. If you guys enjoyed that video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel using the link right below me here to keep fresh on the latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films.